Hello everyone. Welcome to the first day of LRDI map. As our first set is on remainders, we'll have a quick look at remainders. Now, when I say if I divide 63 by 5, everyone knows the answer. Okay, but let's just get a different analogy. Here, what I'll do, I'll consider this 63 as a marble, and I need to make a group of 5. Every, what is the answer? This is 63 when divided by 5, nothing but make quotient of 12. And the remainder is 3. This 3 is nothing but the leftover marble. So, this leftover marble is nothing but my positive remainder. Also, to make it a group of 5, how much this 3 is falling short by? That is nothing but 2. And this 2 will be my negative remainder. So, whatever left is my positive remainder and whatever was falling short is my negative remainder. So, if I say, if I divide anything by 11 and my positive remainder is 5, so my negative remainder will be minus 6. If I dividing anything by 13, if my negative remainder is minus 3, so my positive remainder will be plus 10. Having said that, let's go on to the first set. So, the set says that Anna visits a mobile shop, we sell some mobiles of different companies. These prices are given for each of the Nokia, Motorola and different. This total he pays rupees of 57,362 rupees. So, let's say number of mo mobiles he buys for each of the item is, let's say for Nokia he buys A at the price of 1155, Motorola he buys B at the price of 1365 and so on and so forth. So, if I go on making the equation, so this equation will be something like this 11 into 1155A, 1365B, 2145C, 3003D. This all numbers follow a very peculiar property. That is, all numbers are divisible by first or five odd prime numbers. So, if I let's say divided by 3, this number 1155 will give a remainder of 0 with 3. Second number will also give a remainder of 0 with 3. Third number will also give a remainder of 0 with 3. Fourth number will also give a remainder of 0 with 3. But 5005 will give a remainder of 1 with 3. That is 1 into E, my 57362 as the sum will be coming out 23. This will give remainder of 2. So, whatever remainder I will get, I will get from this thing. So, from this I can say 1 into E should be equal to 2. So, my value of E in this case is nothing but 2. If I divide now by 5, my this number will be divisible by 5. Second number is also divisible by 5. Third number is also divisible by 5. But this D is not divisible by 5. Because this will give remainder of 3 with 5. E will be also divisible by 5. And last my remainder will be nothing but here. Overall remainder 2. So my 3 into D should be equal to 2. So now I need to get the value of D. Here we very easily got the value of E. But here we just need to think. When I divided by 5. I got the positive remainder as 3, uh, 2. So, I can say my negative remainder is minus 3. So, 3 into what will be minus 3? So, my D should be nothing but minus 1. So, if I divide it by 5, my rem negative remainder is minus 1. That means my positive remainder is plus 4. So, my value of D is plus 4. Now, if I divide it by 7, when I divide it by 7, my this remainder will be 0. This remainder is also 0. But this 7, 3 is 21, 42. This will be remainder 3. This is again 0. This again divided by 7. This is again 0. And my overall remainder with 7 with this will come out to be nothing but 4. So my equation for this case will be for when divided by 7. My equation for this case will be 3 into C is equal to 4. Again, if I look at 7, it gives a positive remainder of 4, so negative remainder of minus 3. So, that follows my value of C should be minus 1. 
so my value of c is minus 1 with 7 so my positive remainder should be plus 6 so value of c in this case is positive 6 now the fourth prime number is 11 so if i divide this every number by 11 the first remainder is 0 the second remainder which i get it by dividing by 11 will be nothing but 1 this is again 0 this is again 0 this will also on dividing by 11 gives the remainder of 0 the right hand side when I divide by 11 I will get a remainder of 8 so this expression will be nothing but 1 into b should be equal to 8 this I am solving when I am dividing it by 11 so when I divide it by 11 my positive remainder is 8 so my negative remainder with 11 will be nothing but minus 3 so 1 into what will be minus 3 so my value of b is nothing but minus 3 that is a negative remainder of 3 or I can say when with 11 a negative remainder of 3 that means a positive remainder of 8 so my value of b is nothing but 8 the last one if I divide this number by 13 this remainder will be 0 5005 will be giving 0 this remainder is 0 this remainder will give 0 but when I divide it by 13 115 my remainder comes out to be 11 and my overall remainder when I divide 57362 by 13 this remainder comes out to be 6 so if I go on making an equation it will be nothing but 13 sorry it was 11 it was 11 into a should be equal to 6 so now when I divide it by 13 this is the situation left hand side gives the remainder of 11 and this is 6 so if I see here what is the negative remainder this positive remainder of 13 is 11 the negative remainder in this case will be minus 2 and this has to be 6 so minus 2 into what will be 6 so obviously minus 2 into minus 3 is 6 so my value of a is nothing but minus 3 13 gives the remainder of minus 3 with that is a negative remainder of 3 so my positive remainder will be 10 so now I got all the values of okay, so my a in this case so my value of so my value of a is nothing but 10 my value of b is nothing but 8 my value of c is I got a 6 value of d is 4 and my value of e is 2 okay. So that is it, this set is solved. So what is asking is how many numbers did he buy of no k, no k is nothing but a. So answer for the first question is 10. How many buy, he buy of Motorola? The answer should be 8. Answer actually it was none of the above. So answer of this question is actually 8 or none of the above. Third, how many buy he, he bought of Apple? Apple is nothing but variable e. Apple is variable E. So that my answer for this question is 2. I hope everyone got this, this site.